Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. So you have a tortoise, and whether you have a, a sulcata, a Russian tortoise, red foot, cherry, whatever you have, your tortoise, is, when they're smaller, and when even when they're larger, but when they're smaller and they're growing and they're eating like crazy, they poop. A lot. Uh, it's just something that happens. Let me move that heat light. That's it. So Tortellini has pooped a lot, especially when they're growing, guys. And some of the poop is flat. What does that mean? She's taking a nap in her hay dish, number one. There she is. She knows we're talking about her. But... What that means is they walk through the poop and they get it on them, on their stomach, on their, in their claws, you know, on their feet. So they need a bath. And this is going to, basically these principles are still the same, but as your tortoise gets much and much larger, you're going to have to change the way you do this. So changing some of the materials. So right now, Tortellini is still a good size where I can wash her in the bathroom sink. So I have the hot water turned on in the bathroom sink because it's winter here to let the water warm up. Um, so we're going to take her to the sink and I'm going to show you guys how to give her a cleaning, a soak, and everything you need to know for your tortoise. All right, here's Tortellini in my sink. There's no water in the sink because I don't want to give her her soak yet. Because if she has poop or pee or urate on the bottom of her shell or in here, I don't want her to soak in that, and I don't want her to drink that. Um, although, guys, tortoises are known to eat their poop and their urate and other reptile poop. She goes crazy after those huge urates of Simba. I got to make sure when they're outside together, she, she hunts them down. But um, So first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean her off before we give her her soak. So since I let the water already warm up, uh, it's all nice and primed, so I'm going to get it to a, a warm temp, and I'm going to achieve that by activating some hot and some cold, because we don't want it to be, you know, scolding. Uh, and we want the water to come out not super strong either. So I'm going to give you guys a few warnings, like when you're washing your tortoise, if you pick them up like this, a lot of times water can get caught in here, and you don't want it to go in the tortoise's nose or mouth, but... You don't want to drown your tortoise, right? So once the water's coming out like this, I just like to put her shell under it in the beginning. Uh, and I give everything, I just get everything wet. I'm going to actually finish with the top. I'm going to start with the bottom because there's not poop on the top. That would be really rare. Uh, and I'm going to use a soft bristle toothbrush. So I just get that wet. So I'm going to go ahead and spin her. And we're going to check out the bottom. Okay, it's actually not bad. Maybe a little bit of poop, but not really much that I can see. There's probably some in her feet, and there's definitely some on the back here. But I just take the toothbrush, and you give her a, a good brushing. You just want to get in there, get everything nice and clean, give it a rinse. Not, not all of this is poop, guys. It could just be part of the tortoise. It could be staining of the shell. You just want to make sure everything gets nice and clean. So you use a brush. Now, when your tortoise gets... Oh, and she's choosing a pee. That's fine. That's pretty natural. The water, everything stimulates. She's moving around. Uh, another good, healthy thing. So that's fine. If you guys saw that, congratulations. That's where a tortoise pees from. It's almost like a baby, you know. You don't have them a, a male baby with a diaper. Right, when you're changing them, because you got to cover them up, because they could pee on you. So, we're going to give her a shell. Good little scrub here. All around, you don't, you, you can scrub hard, this isn't going to hurt her. And, um, down here, there's definitely poop on the end of the 
shoot right here and you can just give that a little scrub wash that rinse that and if you see it's all clean it no longer has that black tip really good now some people will say well in the wild how they do they do they do this well you know they're not in the wild they're a pet here and I don't want my pet in my house with poop on it smelling everything up right and I don't want to cause infections and things like that so once the shell is nice and clean rinse we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit you know like the back the tail the bottom of the feet if you look at all these like little grooves in there you could see how poop could get stuck in there so you just give these I'm a little bit more gentle on these I just kinda of put the brush up against it and move the brush I don't really push down into it you just let the brush run over it same thing rinse now I'll show you too because we want to get the undersides and right here in the shell sometimes poop can get lodged in there when the shell is so far down like this that you want to get right in there in the back right because the butt is essentially right there where it comes out of uh, so you just want to make sure it stays clean and then remember this is her amputated foot so I'm going to make sure that that stays nice and clean and everything looks really good yeah so I don't notice anything on the underside that we got to care about do her front feet here same thing go down this way very nice down this way that she's not in any pain she can breathe she just doesn't really like being upside down so normally you do this a lot quicker but because I'm filming for you guys, it's a little bit slower, but it's okay. I'll give her some treats after, and we'll be best friends again. So when that's all done, you just go ahead and you turn her back over. If you try to turn her over the same way you went, um, turned her upside down on, that's the best practice. It prevents intestines from getting tangled and whatnot. Now, I say it's best practice because they don't have, you don't really have to do that when they're this small but it's when you start getting a larger tortoise when she's full size and maybe I got to turn her over for something you know if you you've got three foot circumference 200 pounds there's a lot of intestines in there so let's see if you can pick that up we have some poop on the back inside back here and we're just gonna clean that off pretty simple we couldn't see it when she was upside down but we can see it now and then we're just going to want to make sure the tail is nice again when I'm doing their skin I'm not pushing I'm just putting the brush up against it and brushing it pretty simple simple like so Now, I've said it before, and sometimes I misspoke a little bit. I said turtles breathe through their shell. Tortoises, excuse me. And people took that literally like breathing for air. No, it's like their skin breathes like us. They can sweat through here. So it's really good that you clean the top of the shell. From dust, dirt, anything that could get in the pores in here, oils. So I just get it wet. Oh, and she's pooping massively even after she went in there. So that's good. This is going to clean out her digestive tract, and we're just going to brush the shell. Now, if you have a full-size sulcata or something larger that maybe you're washing outside with the hose, you know, maybe it's got mud on it and you want to clean it, you're probably not going to use a toothbrush, and that's fine. Use, you know, a full-size soft bristled brush that you got in your hand that you can, you can really give her a good scrubbing. Again, don't use oils that will clog all those pores, but just get in there, give her a good scrubbing. Now that you've cleaned her up, and let's make sure she doesn't have any poop on her from letting that out, and no, she doesn't because she was up in the air. Now that you've cleaned her out, you can move her and give her a, a soak in a tub. 
So I quite literally put her in the tub. Although she's not just sitting in the bathtub, she's in a storage tote that's then in the bathtub. But this is nice because if I had a reptile that maybe likes the shower being on for either humidity or misting, um, I can put them in the bathtub, but I can turn the shower on or I can put, put the faucet on or, you know, if anything happens, I can just drain it straight down the drain of the bathtub. But this is where she'll sit. Right now, she's actually choosing to lay down. This is, again, slightly above lukewarm water, but not hot. So she's laying completely flat. She likes the warm water. She's not up on her arms. Her nose, her nostrils are right at the tip of her beak, right on the top, guys. So you want to make sure that she can still breathe. Let's zoom in. Kills my camera quality. That's fine. Guys, a better camera. It's on the list. 2021. Saving money for it. So I can really get a good zoom in for you guys. Not an old uh, Samsung phone. But yeah, she's just going to sit here. And normally I'll have her in here 15 to 20 minutes. This is now the time of when I'll go clean the tank. Because she's out of the tank, I can scoop all that poo up that's in there. Um, any bedding that maybe is caked together from pee or poo, I can replace all that. I can wash her water bowl. I don't have to worry about her roaming. A lot of times when I let her roam, she just takes off throughout the house. She decides to become fast and go. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the uh, tank now. And even now, once her whole enclosure has been cleaned and sterilized and new bedding and replaced the water, I still interact with the reptile when it's soaking. I'll take her out. I'll drip water on her. I mean, you know, I'll pet her. I still want her to know who I am, guys. So don't feel, don't, you don't just have to leave your reptile in here and not interact with them. All right. She's all cleaned up. She's had her soak. She's hydrated. Let's get her back to her house. Okay, I've sliced up a carrot stick for her, so why don't we go ahead and just lure her over here to this side of the, the tank, and uh, you'll see how quick she, oh yeah, she's already seen it. This is your reward, you're in a clean tank, you got fresh clean water, you got a nice carrot stick, you got a nice carrot stick to eat, there you go. Oh, wow, ripped that one up, didn't you? The fun part, guys, too, sometimes, well, I feed her like this every day, but sometimes if she can't get a bite, she'll get her, her foot up in there and she'll try to push my hand and use all her leverage. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, since I cut up this carrot stick into nice thin pieces, I'm just going to feed these to her. So anyways, hope this helped, guys. Like I said, when you wash your tortoise, no soap, no oils, warm water, use a soft brush then give her a soak. Take care.